you. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite producer, Wheezy out of here. And today, just kidding, I'm not Wheezy. But listen, happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great day. I got a new microphone right here, the Rode Wireless Go 2, uh, because it was really starting to bug me that when I watch my videos, you couldn't see my mouth because of the microphone and the, and the pop filter in the way and stuff. So yeah, so I'm trying something out, uh, something a little different here. So it's a little bit of a learning curve for just figuring out how this mic is supposed to work and how the, uh, the audio is sounding. So it might be, might be a little rough the first time around, but I appreciate you guys sticking around because today, today we're gonna be making some wheezy beats, all right? Some wheezy beats. Not like, not like, <sighs> beats, but like wheezy. Wheezy out of here. Um, my man Derek yesterday hit me up with a trombone, and you already know that I got the trumpet chops. So we're gonna make some hard wheezy brass beats live with live trumpets, live instruments, and we're gonna cook up something really dope. So without further ado, let's cook up. All right, so I kind of have an idea. I'm gonna have to just record it on the trumpet first because my trombone chops are not great. I took like one semester of, of brass methods in college. That trombone part took way too long. <laughs> but I think we got something cool. Something cool going here. I'm just gonna organize all this, get it all in the mixer, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I have everything kind of organized. So I got all the trumpets all color coded and sent to their bus and then all the bones sent to their buses as well. I'm just gonna start off with some EQ. Just to take out a little bit of the lows. And probably cut a little bit of the high mids. Just gonna compress the crap out of this because I love the sound of a compressed trumpet. I'm hearing a click in there a little bit, that's annoying. So that's kind of like the majority of the melody. Another important thing is kind of atmosphere and space. And so I think what I'm gonna do is probably put some sort of pad in here. super massive on this one.
orchestra plug in. <laughs> So now let's go and we just want to get some stupid, stupid banging drums on here. So, just kind of have this idea in my head, I just need to beatbox it a little bit. Just in the background, just to give it a little bit more oomph. Same thing over here. Now here's the most important part, bro. The slap, the punch, the thing that makes the beat. 808. I just want something dummy hard. I'm gonna split up my drums and we'll probably bring in the the high string section there and then for the verse what I think we can do is take out the open hi-hat uh, take out the little accent parts to get up so I want to have the da -da -dum -bum 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 in the 808 double the melody of the trumpets and the and the bones there So now that everything is arranged, here's the final beat. Yo, JD. So that is it for this video. I want to thank you so much for coming through and hanging out with me on your Monday. I had a lot of fun cooking this up and, and putting my trombone skills, uh, no matter how weak they are, <laughs> and putting them to use. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the beat. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, and it's you know always fun to be able to pull out my, my trumpet and, and do some live instrument trap stuff. I always enjoy being able to do that. So if you like this video or if you learned something new, be sure to drop a like, a comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe so that I can continue to put out this dope content for you all to see. I really appreciate your guys' continued support, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.